first and foremost, I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be among you, the thought leaders in pediatric epilepsy and the ketogenic diet. Dr. Teal had mentioned um, yesterday, I believe, that there's a lot of this love in this room, and she's right. I really have two objectives to leave you with today. The ketogenic diet is absolutely not too difficult, and every ounce of effort is worth it. If you remember nothing else, then I will have fulfilled my duty. Anybody who has kids can uh, appreciate this picture, um, um, a painful half hour of trying to get a Christmas card. Um, my son Bryce is currently nine, uh, and he has two sisters, Grace and Abby. This is Bryce at age four. Um, when he began to seize. Prior to age four, he was completely healthy. Um, he had his second seizure three weeks later and was placed on medication. His workup was initially um, unremarkable except for some mild slowing on his EEG. Unfortunately, um, he had a second seizure and was placed on medication. Um, he had multiple side effects including uh, lethargy, blood dyscrasias, um, and um, Unfortunately, though, he had, did not have another seizure um, until two months later when he began a downward spiral, um, having up to 25 seizures a day, including myoclonic jerks, um, atypical absence seizures, and tonic seizures. He was felt to um, probably have Lennox Gusteau. He was on a total of five medications, um, up to three at once. I have a few subliminal messages in here for you. We were very lucky that we began the ketogenic diet very short into the duration of his illness. It would have been sooner if it were up to me, but we had to wait. Um, three weeks after he began the ketogenic diet, he was completely seizure-free. He was maintained on the diet for almost two years. While we started to wean the diet, we had a 24-hour EEG, and we were very um, appalled and um, upset that he had one spike of seizure activity on his uh, 10 hour tracing. We didn't know what to do. Fortunately, I called the wonderful kind soul, Dr. Freeman, and he said, just go for it. And we went for it, and he has remained seizure free for five years and counting and medication free. There are some children who are not so lucky as my son was. This is John's story. A few months ago, when I was on call for weekend coverage, I took care of John in the intensive care unit. He had been there for three months um, with fungemia and respiratory failure. He had been seizing since he was four. I saw a debilitated young man with um, flexion contractures and hypotonia with mental retardation. Of course, he was on the vent, and he had a feeding tube. And my challenge that day was not treating his, his fluids or treating his infection. My challenge was looking at that boy in that bed and wondering, could this have been my son? And it could have been. And then I thought, what if John was on a ketogenic diet? Maybe he would be normal like my son. And it is appalling and it is disgusting and it is unacceptable that for more than two decades, while John saw multiple pediatric neurologists, not one mentioned the ketogenic diet to his mother. So what are the barriers to the ketogenic diet? Probably the greatest is ignorance in the true sense of the word that many families just have never heard of the ketogenic diet. Also, some doctors don't believe in the ketogenic diet, um, despite the overwhelming evidence that we know um, showing the ketogenic diet is a safe and effective treatment for pediatric epilepsy. Second is presentation, where you all come into play. If we tell a child and a parent that the ketogenic diet is too difficult, in many patients and families, the power of suggestion will be overwhelming and the diet will be too difficult. If we present it in a realistic but positive fashion, then I believe that more families would have success with a ketogenic diet. And lastly is funding. Many programs, um, especially as I've talked to people um, this week, um, many hospitals and facilities have not found a good way to fund our dietitians, which are vital to the success of the ketogenic diet. And I'm hoping that at a future conference, we can address that. While on the ketogenic diet, probably one of the greatest um, barriers is balance because we as doctors are very good in educating our families about the physical changes to expect with the ketogenic diet, but for every physical change, there is an emotional change, and they are occurring simultaneously, which is why I wrote Keto Kid. There, I believe, are 10 steps to success in the ketogenic diet, which you can read. Um, in the interest of time, I'm really only going to touch on one of them, which is limit temptation. Someone asked me recently, is the ketogenic diet too difficult for parents 
um, that have multiple children in the family? And of course, the answer is no. It is not too difficult. For families that have very young children, it's very simple. Don't give anybody cookies, cakes, or candy because they are not healthy or necessary in any diet whatsoever. For families where there are older children, um, I would suggest that all of the children eat together in the kitchen. Initially, for the keto kid, if they are overwhelmed with the temptation of food, they can simply walk away. But over time, they can learn the self-denial that is necessary to be um, successful on the ketogenic diet in a loving family environment when the parents are readily available to offer support and encouragement. Then, when they travel outside of the home to school, for example, they will have the coping mechanisms necessary for success. As you can see, my son had absolutely no problem enjoying a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese with his ketogenic pizza and his ketogenic cheesecake while his friends ate their regular foods. Also, uh, he had no problem having a play date, eating his own food next to his little friend. I want to mention that while the food on the ketogenic diet is restrictive, there's no reason that fun has to be restrictive. We had a wonderful two years. Bryce made several comments that his life was wonderful. He never wanted to go off of his magic food because he was so happy and was not having seizures. So what's next? I would challenge each and every one of you to continue to make a difference. One small change can lead to one great change. We can make a difference by addressing the emotional changes that take place alongside the physical changes on the ketogenic diet. We can present the ketogenic diet positively to our parents and encourage them and support them to try and to succeed. We can share ideas so that more physicians and scientists and dietitians and pharmacists and clinicians can learn the wonderful benefits of the ketogenic diet. And we can gain international awareness. And I do think it's time for that. Dr. Conklin, I must remind you, was an osteopathic physician like me, and he sparked an interest in the ketogenic diet in the 1920s, which led to the use of the, in, uh, of the ketogenic diet until, as we learned, fell out of fashion due to the advent of the anti-seizure medications. But then, in 1994, Jim Abrams ignited a virtual explosion of interest in the ketogenic diet via Charlie's story on Dateline NBC. And look what's become of it. I can only imagine, coupled with the um, surge of interest we have generated um, in um, science and um, 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 promoting the ketogenic diet, that coupled with um, some sort of national media and national awareness, I can only imagine where we would be in 10 years. So in summary, the ketogenic diet is not too difficult and every ounce of effort is worth it. To say that the ketogenic diet has touched my heart would be a great understatement. That would be like saying Dr. John Freeman and Jim Abrams have done a little tiny bit to advance the ketogenic diet and pediatric epilepsy. In reality, the ketogenic diet has driven a canyon through my soul and I will forever remain passionate about it. And I hope you will too. Thank you. I can be easily choked up. <laughs> but it's people like this who inspire me to go on every day. So let's give everyone a hand. <laughs> <laughs>